Hello, everybody. It's me, Get Daved, and we're playing for Emblem. And there's nothing to worry about. So, at the end of the last episode, a wave of reinforcements showed up. I feel really good about it. I'm expecting more to come, and if I'm going to place bets... So, two appeared at the top ones on either side. I'm going to predict one wave in each. That's just a guess, though. We'll find out. Um, let's live as if it's true, though. Oh, whoops. There we go. The full breakdown, in my opinion, has less useful information than the partial. So, anyway. Yeah, we get a pretty good chip, and only two damage coming back. If it even hits. Yay! 22 experience in a master class is actually pretty good. Okay, cut down what's left. Just want to make sure we can get the Bow Knights after this is all said and done. Yeah, I want him there. It's a little bit of a waste of his talents, because he's got so much speed he double hits almost every single time. Okay. And we're out of the red zone if we dispatch both of those riders. Trying to figure out how to allocate people. Mischief managed. Perfect. We do need the full kick, though. A little bit of a waste of an armor slayer, but I'll take it. He's getting so close. Sure, we can afford to take the slow way. We'll get some practice with weaker weapons. Actually should have done that with Krom on his turn. No matter. Plunk her right there. And you know what? We might as well take the opportunity to try getting her up to A rank on her tomes. You know what? We're going to take the turn convoying instead. Probably gonna, not going to use Fortify. I really don't want to run out of heals, and that was a reasonably good time. Also, just be careful to flag the new units that showed up. Okay, we're good. We good! Yeah, we can just heal her if she takes a hit. Decent chance that this works out if the support comes through. Which is pretty much a coin flip. With the evade, barely matters. I might regret switching to just the normal Dragonstone. This is going to lower her defense as well, because... When you have a dragon stone or a beast stone equipped, it gives bonuses to all of your stats, including the defensive ones. Always nice to get a plus two. OK, 
Okay, do we go for it? I'm gonna say no. We have an okay chance to have Mer- no, we can't even have someone run and go pick up the little sparkly. I mean, Cordelia- you know what, actually, we are gonna try it. Cordelia has a pretty good chance of A, surviving, and B, drawing out some of the enemies, which would be really nice since we're not advancing up the middle. This could pull some. There we go. And I'm not going to advance, get Dave and Kiel. Perfect start. And she's lived so far. Alright, I totally called it. Okay, this is where the real- oh boy! Maybe that was a bad idea. Regrets? I've got a few. Okay. Biggest threat is actually the Bow Knight. Can Sari dust this poser? Yeah! Okay, I want to try getting the ranged attack if I can. Uh, I guess we just pray for a support. Probably not going to happen. He's got the defense boost because he's fortified. And the evade boost. There'd be wisdom in having them come to me, but it's not really an option just given how my troops are deployed. Uh, and Cordelia's in quite a bit of trouble, actually. Yeah, not enough for the kill. That would be a really nice time to have Gale Force. Okay, there's three units over there. Cordelia can act twice. And only one attack. Gonna have to hope both of these hit. Good. Pretty good chances of it happening, but can't take anything for granted. Okay, we're just gonna go full rush mode then. One in eight, or pardon me, like, yeah, one in eight ish chances that we miss. It's fine. We could have used the rescue staff, but given the mobility that all the mounted units had, I don't think it would have worked. I should have waited one more turn. And I've abandoned the fortresses, so that's wonderful. Alright, there's a greater chance this one misses, so we try it, I suppose. That's fine. They're probably gonna try killing Maribel anyway. Yeah, nowhere is safe. a little bit before we were ready and a bit too far in. Just out of curiosity, can she pick? Nope, not enough firepower. Javelins are super weak. 
Okay, well, she's going to be super well set up to destroy this guy, so... We can rip some of my other units, so we'll just do this. And now we'll worry about what's going to happen. Okay. A little bit... Wow, a much easier situation over here, actually. Four units against, like, eight of mine. All right. Gaius can finish one off. I would rather... The problem is he's going to take a pretty nasty attack coming back his way. We have a chance of a support, therefore a kill from Lucina. Oh wow! We still need the support, unfortunately. There it is. Um, that helps, although we didn't really need it. So what we got was kind of good luck. Move him forward a little bit further then, and we can snipe away with a bow instead. We'll chip the easy target. And since the situation is so under control, we'll move our people off those. Getting some workout with her lance arm. Oh my goodness, you're dead. And she would still attack again after that, because again, Aether turns one of your attacks into two. I didn't spend both of them. Because everything is awesome. Alright, might as well not beat up a valuable sword then. How it must feel if that was like a level 8 paladin with a silver sword getting dropped by a mercenary with a bronze sword. And convincingly. Alright, Krom. Dispatch him. Perfect. No, what am I doing? We'll do that. I was like, I'm gonna move Lissa over there, but that's a really bad idea because then both healers would be on one side. Oh my goodness, she lived? Wow! No one died! Day of the Conqueror! <laughs> okay. Now, what do you do when the healer is the one who needs healing? It's actually a really big dilemma. Okay, first things first. Burn an eight. Than being burned to death in steel armor? I think that's a pretty rough way to go. It's like being cooked in an oven, but you put yourself in there on purpose. Eh, we'll pluck away. Alright. I think we don't have a great match up there. Let's just go correct that. I'm actually going to bring this in so we have a support option. And yeah, we'll just bronze sword with him.
Yeah, it gets him some practice with his lance. And this is available for healing if he takes the hit. Perfect. More experience for his sister. Okay, now the real turn begins. And there it is. If Donnie supports, it's nice. Oh, beautiful. I mean, it seems the lower, the lower level. Higher rating, though. Let's use a steel lance. It's nice and affordable. And fun for the whole family. Well, we've gotten a bajillion hit points. Probably should have done that for Donald, by the way. Well, let's just have her do what Cordelia did then. We'll bait in an attack. This is actually just so to get Dave can get a support. Not great accuracy. Again, they have a 20% bonus to their evade, you can see. Well, we didn't need it. It's delightful. And 20% health restoration between turns and two armor. I'm not sure if it counts for resistance as well, though. I think Maribel's gonna move over here and just use a concoction. We actually have to be careful here or we're gonna blow it. And we're doing this entirely for the chance at a support from Get Daved. Please! Well, that's fine. I feel good about how that worked out. Just out of curiosity, how does she fare in this exchange? Pretty good, but it's not enough. Can she do better with Amatsu is the question. Not really. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the guaranteed kill. It's not the best setup, but... We won't have to worry about her low HP if we play all our cards right. By which I mean get this kill. We have two shots at it though. If kill supports, it probably won't be a kill actually. It's gonna come down to just softening up and get Dave's probably gonna be the one who I send in to go for the actual kill. And that's fine. Oh, she can't reach. All right, Cordelia, it's all up to you. She doesn't have a tome. Okay, let's think this through very carefully. He's got an axe, so we don't have the matchup we need. Boy, if she had boots, we would be set. Okay, Tharia, what can you do for me? There's probably too many bodies in her way for her to get an attack in. Yep. Nice little gap in her attack coverage. Well. Can't even protect her. Yep. Boo, get daved. What's funny is I moved her in because I was gonna... 
I should have had her dance. Oh well. Or get danced. I should have had her get served. Okay, do we have... No? We'll just dispatch him the traditional way. Now I'm letting everybody run low on hit points. Uh, Lucina, smash them. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I think when you level up, or when you're just gaining experience in general, I think the formula does take your overall rating into account, not just your character's level. Because you will notice Lucina is getting fewer experience points than other characters. Yeah, it's a pretty great level up. We've done pretty well on the whole for level ups, I must say. I do declare. All right. <laughs> and now we don't have our healer over there. Uh, okay, Sari, you're just gonna park there for a bit. Uh, and that actually itself might have been a huge mistake. Yeah, roast him. Okay, I think Tiki will do really well against them. Yep, that qualifies as doing really well. Have Kale move in first to soften things up a little bit. This is just to give Tiki actually an accuracy bonus is the thing I care about the most. Terrible matchup for her. I'm actually going to do this. I have changed my mind. We still have 99% accuracy, so this is almost certainly going to kill this unit. Pretty powerful. Yeah, just zap them. Doink. There we are. And now we close in on Wallhart. You know what? Might as well plunk them somewhere like that so they can get a little bit of healing. Because it's going to take a couple turns till we can charge them anyway. I'm assuming there's no more waves of reinforcements, by the way. Yeah. I have killed 48 units so far. Ah, oh, he's got the superior movement. Well played, game. Alright, we get everybody up to the edge then. I'm living on an edge of fear and self doubt. It's a hollow play, but they'll clap anyway. Give yourself a hundred get Dave points for that reference. The song gets a little bit less glum as it goes on. Like a bit. 
I didn't say a lot. And we're just gonna leave Sari behind. Just for safety. There we go, and... Might as well. Okay, we can move her to a slightly closer one. Fine. Alright, how does she do in an exchange with Walhart? Just... We'll never know. I have a feeling with 46 attack, he's gonna do pretty well against her. At least 30 some damage. So that could be a one shot kill. Okay, I guess we hang back. Wait, that's actually probably Krom's spot. Against my better judgment? Eh, he's got 52 hit points. What do we have to fear? We'll waste two charges on a meaningless attack. And give up prime positioning. Okay, guys, do it properly. Well, that's a pretty tough cookie. He's probably going to get rocked in return. These guys are pretty tough. So that's what it's like fighting my people. So we're actually going to do this. I think I might have done the push a little bit early. Uh, we're probably all safe. Let's see if we can get Thari in there to soften him up a bit. Yeah, that's perfect. What I like about Fire Emblem games is, I mean, again, you could rather simplistically say the weapon triangle is rock, paper, scissors. Um, it's not just because the influences are pretty minor and you can see what they're going to do. And so you get to position. But also, there's hard counters to a lot of units. You know, like an archer versus a pegasus knight. But even within that, there's some wiggle room for fighting back against that. Like, you can have... You know, the pegasus knight is usually faster. So if you can get them right at the edge of the archer's range, often they can still sneak in. And they can, you know, fight really well against a whole bunch of other units. So it's not purely unit matching. There's a lot of... There's a lot of room for an actual game, basically. Alright. Not quite enough for Gaius to do as much as I was hoping, but... Yeah, not nearly enough. We're just gonna have to hope for one support. There we are. Oh, lethality! He's dead. If lethality triggers, they just die. No oh, ands, ifs, or buts. So yeah, there's an 8% chance of him doing that every single time. There we are. Still in harm's way, right on. But it was some good experience pointing. Look at me go! Bye, Gaius. Behold! Alright, pick a number between 1 and 3. You picked poorly. Oh, honey, honey. Content ID match. Video monetized. Alright, I feel like Krom or Sari should bring this guy down. 
You know what, Lucien is a good choice. We'll get a shot in with Parallel Falcon. Wow, she's stronger than he is. Well, she's got more hit points anyway. But I think I might be able to take him one-on-one -on -one even. Well, isn't that nifty? And yeah, get some damage in with fire. This is for Basilio. We'll go with the guaranteed hit. Okay, 21 damage. Krom, you in range yet? No, Razzim, Frazzim, Fraz. Well, this will get him in there. Oh, wow! Glory stolen. But you did! Killed by a common cell sword. Yeah, he doesn't know how to use that. Yeah, Tiki had a good round. No. Oh, he's not dead? Yes. Now. Yeah, okay. Well, I trust Lucina. Okay, are these guys gonna turn on me or not? Hold. Well, we'll have to find out next time. Eh, oh, fine, I'll put it in. Anna's telling me to take breaks, though. I left my DS open for an hour. Not these fools. I can only assume he's talking about me. Doesn't understand people, only power. Yes, sir. So I guess they're trying to make Yenfei like an inspirational sacrifice, like Emerin was. I mean, a lot of people kind of criticized the scene when it happened, and rightly so. They're with whoever's winning. Very nice. Are you ready? All right, through the gate and into fine savings. Yeah. I intend to buy two things here. Okay, first off, what a deal. Pretty crazy. I mean, they're not super rare, but a lot of the uh, sparklies I've been visiting, I have been getting, you know, experience almost every time, I think. Maybe some other stuff. I'm also going to buy Ruin while I'm here. 
Yeah, it's pretty nice to have. I don't know if Tharia's got the skill to land a blow with it, but, I mean, 50 crit rate is nice. Um, yeah, I picked up so many experience points that I haven't gotten a ton of the other items that are pretty typical. Oh, and you know what? We just won a big battle, so we're going to do some support too. The last one, or two ago, was kind of short. It looks kind of like low Q's. No plates there. She's from Japan. I see. Yeah, you dodge instead of block. Hey. I wonder if that's where fates or yeah, fates takes place. So be it. Cause it's pretty a Japanese inspired area. I forget if it was called Chonson, though. I. I see. Yeah, she's always tired. Well. Too reverent to have a relationship right now. How could this happen? Falling asleep. Five more years. Five more years. No. One of those sleepers. Guess what? So be it. Yes. Why so serious? Very nice music in the background, though. It's a rare track. All right. We're making it happen, folks. And with it, two more kiddos. Well. Every female has a child, and then the Avatar and Krom have one as well. Kinda wouldn't like to have it. <laughs> A polymath. That's right, she got over her survivor's guilt, everyone. Yeah. Now that you mention it. Right. Now that we're mentioning awkward jokes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Right. <laughs> All right, it's a contest, and you won. Thank you. I thought nothing could warm my heart again. I shall love you above all others for the rest of my days. She means Crom. Yay! Enjoy the evidence of support level S. Alright, see you on the next episode. Solid ending.